What's up y'all, it's Monday about 11.30 and we're starting this ammo hunting week again. I'm getting a little bit of a late start to this thing again this week. I uh, hadn't been since last Thursday when y'all saw last week's video. Uh, Friday I was just busy, over the weekend I was busy with Father's Day. I went out to my range, did a bunch more jelly tests, so I just ain't had a bunch of time. But maybe that gave the Rural King a little bit extra time to get some new stuff in. If y'all new to these videos, I go from Friday to Thursday, not every day obviously because it's Monday and I ain't been since last Thursday, but on Thursdays I post up a video to show y'all what I got throughout the week. If y'all are new and enjoy the videos, take a second if you wouldn't hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and click that bell notification icon. Hopefully you can get notified when I upload new stuff. But let's run on up here to the Rural King and see what they got for us today. All right, y'all, looks about the same in the Rural King today. Not much new stuff. I'll do a quick little run through the 7.6251, 223, 243 there for 43 bucks for ELDX. 350 legend a few different 308s up here they do have some 65 creedmoor power point for 28.99 not terrible on that still got all that 45 different kinds of it v crowns punch 24.99 on both of those 25.99 on some 380 ammo ink they got tons of 40 in stock punch critical duty critical defense v crowns american gunner here as you can see 17 bucks on that that's the cheapest 40 hollow points the american gunner rest of is 25 bucks to 29 bucks 40 blazer for 29.99 got some more of this pmc bronze hollow points which i'm definitely not buying if y'all hadn't seen that test yet more ammo ink more federal still about the same nine millimeter ammo ink uh silver tips 20 bucks 22 bucks American Gunner, the V Crowns, the Critical Defense, and the Punch, all of it, anywhere from 22 to 29 bucks for the Critical Defense. FMJ, 20 bucks. The Streak, still got both of those, Full Metal Jacket and Hollow Points, $15 and $18. Got the CCI 9 for 20, the Venom for 23, 200 round Winchester for 77 bucks. Got some more of the active duty. 22 LR is starting to slim down some. They still got tons of the TAC-22, of course, but the arms core is dwindling on down. The stingers look like a bunch of people's been buying those. $8.99, $3.99 on the arms core. Still got the Thunderbolt. Still got a good bit of this 45 grain uh, subsonic Federal. Tons of 5.56 five, and 223 here. Winchester green tips and the regular 193s bunch of steel case 223 for 10 bucks ammo ink 223 and still got a big pile of this steel case wool and a little bit of 450 bushmaster here still for 37 bucks shot shells look like they're disappearing pretty quick here except for this hex steel shot still got piles of that the 20 gauge seven and a half still got a little bit of that so that's a pretty good find right there nine bucks for that number two shot three and a half inch 12 gauge but that's steel shot more steel shot number three down here three inch still got the number eight shot in the nylo box the challengers for 10 bucks a little bit of heavy steel down there i believe that's number yeah number four shot and still got that wolf double alt book for 18.99 so not really a whole lot new going on in here today all right, y'all, made it out to Rural King. Not a whole lot new going on in there today. They definitely got a bunch more ammo in, but it's mostly more of what they've already had or just more of the stuff that I've already got that I don't really need. But that's gonna be my only stop for today, so I'm gonna head back to the house and then I'll come out here probably Wednesday or maybe just wait till Thursday and end it out. What's up, y'all? It's Thursday afternoon, just a little bit past noon, and we're wrapping up the ammo hunting again. I hadn't picked up but just a couple things locally so far. I have ordered a few things online that I've gotten in that I'll show y'all too, uh, but there just really hadn't been nothing out here that I actually needed or wanted. There's plenty of ammo out here on the shelves, uh, but really nothing at a super good, good deal, or, or like I say, nothing I really just even needed or wanted. But maybe we'll run across something today at a good deal or something worth grabbing that we can do some testing with. I'll probably stop at two or three different places today, starting with the Rural King. So let's run on up in there and see what's going on today. All right, y'all. Looks about the same as when I was in here the other day, so I ain't going to go real slow. Looks like they got some Winchester 308 in here. I think they've just changed the box. It's basically just Deer Season XP, but Winchester's got a new box, it looks like. 28 bucks on that. All this is still the same. I'm just gonna hit the new stuff since y'all just seen this a few days ago. Got some 22, 250 
uh, Varmint Express here, Hornady for 27 bucks. They still got that 6.5 Creedmoor for 29. The 45 looks the same. They got a little USA Ready 45 FMJ here for 29.99. 40 Smith and Wesson looking the same. They got a pile of 40 Smith and Wesson rounds in here right now. Pretty much any kind you can think of. They got some more full metal jacket down here, 52.99 for 100 rounds there. Nine millimeter looking about the same. Tons of different types of hollow points. I've already gone through these, so I won't go slow again, but full metal jacket nine, more active duty nine. 22 LR is looking like it's slimming down a little bit. They got the TAC 22 still, a little bit of stingers left and a little bit of that 45 grain subsonic federal. 5.56 five, over here, still pretty good pile of that X TAC, the uh, 855 and 193 Winchester. 223 Winchester steel case tool ammo 223 then a little bit of 223 ammo ink and then uh, the uh, 300 blackout steel case wolf still got that in here so not a whole lot new in here today besides just a couple things all right y'all made it out to rural king again they had a few new things in there today not a whole lot though i mean they got plenty of ammo don't get me wrong i mean they got stacks and stacks of ammo in there and i'm sure a lot of people could use some of that stuff but most of it i've already got by now but anyway, I think I'll run by the Dunham's and the Walmart next, and I'll see what's going on in there. All right, y'all, in the Wally world, looks like they got a bunch of ammo in here. They got a couple different 350 Legends. Prices have gone up for sure, though. One of them looks 23-something. The other one's 32. They got the auto match. It's still hanging at 2116. The Yellow Box Super X 22. They got some red rattlers in the corner down over there. Got some 300 Win Mag. They got some... Uh, Looks like some 308, some standard velocity. Is that standard velocity CCI? No, that's mini mags. 1097 for the mini mags. There's some standard velocity 483, some 17 HMR up there. Bunch of different shot shells, tons of 12 gauge. They got the 100 round packs of the target loads. Looks like $32 they've gone up to. Uh, some more nitro turkey. That's the two and three quarters. Bunch more 12 gauge here. Game load. A bunch of target load. It looks like 12 gauge. Looks like some 300 Winchester down there. Some more 12 gauge. What do I see? 28 gauge. Uh, looks like a box of 16 gauge. Even I don't see any 410. I do see some more slugs down there. 12 gauge and 20 gauge. So pretty good bit of stuff in the Wally world today. All right, y'all. Quick look into Dunham's here. Looks about the same as last week. If I see anything new, I'll slow down here. Bunches of 40, 45, all just like last week. Uh, let's see. Looks like they got a single box of 10 millimeter PMC bronze saying 1200 feet per second for 20 bucks. I might get that just out of curiosity. Uh, I feel like it's probably not good because it's probably like all the rest of it, but I'm kind of curious on that. They got one lonely box of 460 down here. That's some expensive stuff. That's that Barnes uh, solid copper expander. Same 38, 357. I don't see anything really different here. Tons of nine, 19.99 for the ammo ink nine. 1999 for their v crown nine right now tons of 380 rifle stuff looking about the same tons of 762 by 51 and 308 they're 762 by 39 looks like it's 1399 1299 for some of it a bunch of different 350 legends still seven millimeter mag 243 six millimeter creedmoor that was the same as from last week 25 all six that's the same all this looks pretty much the same that was, as was in here last week. Looks like the same 22. They still got the mini mags marked at 1099. Just left Wally World. That was uh, 1047 or 1049 or something down there. So about the same as Wally World right now. Bunch of shot shells as always. Pretty much whatever gauge, 10, 16, 28, 12, 20. So I don't see anything different than what I showed you last time. So about the same stuff. 
All right, y'all, as you saw in there, Walmart and Dunham's had a pretty good bit of ammo, actually. Walmart, a bunch of shot shell stuff, a bunch of hunting rounds, a pretty good bit of stuff in there in Walmart. Uh, and it's been that way, honestly, for the past month or so. As far as Dunham's, they had a ton of ammo in there, just like they have forever, honestly. They've really, Dunham's has really hardly ever had a shortage since this whole thing. The problem with Dunham's, just like it's been from the very beginning, is their prices are crazy on most of that stuff in there. But I did actually end up picking up one thing out of there that was a, a decent price i don't think it's gonna be really good but it's something i want to test anyway but i'm gonna head down here and swing into my local shop there's a couple things that i saw in there last week that i didn't grab that i want to get this week to do a little testing with uh, i probably won't film in there this week since i did just last week and they probably got about the same stuff unless they got some really crazy good deal and then i'll show y'all but if not i'll see y'all back at the house and let y'all see what we got this week all right y'all we're back at the house once again this week started it out really really slow like it has been lately but in the end i ended up picking up a few pretty decent things a couple things to test with and a few things for some new tools that i just got that i needed some more ammo for before i jump right on into it once again if y'all do enjoy my videos please take a second and hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel and click that bell notification icon so you can get notified when i upload these videos but let's get on into what we got for the week so at the rural king as y'all saw in there they've got tons of ammo in there as always uh, just not really anything new that I'm needing or wanting or need to do some testing on. I pretty much everything they've got in there, I've pretty much already bought at least one box of or I've tested it before. So, but that being said, they did have a 40 Smith and Wesson round in there that I didn't have any of them to test, and that's the American Gunner 180 grain XTP projectile. So I got one box of these. Everybody, I'm sure, is familiar with the good old XTP projectile. As you can see, just a basic hollow point. Like I said, I just got one box of these for now at $16.99 since I don't know exactly how well they perform. I didn't want to buy a bunch of them. So we'll do some testing on these for sure and see how they work out. That was the only thing I even got at the Rural King this week because like I said, y'all saw they've got tons of ammo in there. If I need it, uh, they got plenty of it, but I just don't need anything that they've got in there right now. Now, next up is another yellow Dunham's bag. I know it's starting to be a pattern with these Dunham's bags, but I couldn't help myself but pick this up. Uh, you know, like I always talk about, most of their stuff in there is super overpriced, but I saw this in there some PMC bronze 10 millimeter jacketed hollow point 170 grain there's 25 rounds in this box for $19.99 so for some good 10 millimeter hollow point that's an absolute super deal now unfortunately uh, if y'all have been watching my video those y'all who do watch my videos y'all know I've tested a few of these uh, PMC bronze in different calibers and they are absolutely terrible I mean absolutely no expansion out of them and a matter of fact y'all hadn't seen a 40 Smith and Wesson test I just just did on them but uh, a spoiler alert more of the same results so honestly I'm expecting these 10 millimeters to perform pretty terrible but for $19.99 for a 25 round box the curiosity got the best of me I had to pick these up so uh, just got this one box of 10 millimeter from like I say 170 grain for $19.99 now moving on from there I got a couple pickups from my local shop I didn't film in there because it was kind of busy and it's honestly was exactly the same stuff as the last week when y'all saw in there so you can check back on a couple of my videos if you're interested in the local shop or i'm sure i'll have it in next week's video too but that being said i picked up some 12 gauge out of there some number eight shot federal just two and three quarter 1200 feet per second velocity uh only reason i picked this stuff up y'all probably can already tell is because of the box of it i've got some of these federal high powers that i picked up a few months ago i want to say from the rural king um, and they were a special box too but they were different so this is actually a different box on it it's gets like the 100 uh, 100th anniversary kind of deal on it for the federal so couldn't help but pick these things up y'all know i'm a sucker for these these uh, special edition type boxes so i picked up two boxes of these they were only eight dollars and 99 cent for a number eight shot so that's about the going rate right now so it ain't like i paid a crazy amount for the special box but since they had them in there i figured i'd grab them so i got two boxes of those like i said eight dollars and 99 cent per box and then i also grabbed a 50 round box of v crowns and this time they're in 380 auto so 90 grain 380 uh v crowns y'all are familiar with the v crowns i'm sure i've tested them in several calibers they're one of my favorite hollow point rounds as you can see nice nickel plated case there definitely like i say one of my favorite rounds are these v crowns they've done good in pretty much every caliber i've tested the 45 acp was a little lacking uh, not terrible terrible but the other ones have been fantastic so ho 
hopefully these 380s do pretty good i'm not really expecting the best out of them because it's tough even with the best expanding hollow point to get a good expansion and penetration but i'll be curious to see what they do anyway but anyway 50 round box these were 42.99 so for 50 rounds of v crowns that's not a bad price at all so i picked up one box of those to do some testing with and then from there i got a couple of online pickups i want to show y'all so i got a few boxes of these from wisconsin cartridge corporation i've never bought anything from here and i actually honestly never even heard of them until somebody mentioned them in the comments of my 327 federal video so as you can tell these are boxes of 327 federal magnum 100 grain jacketed hollow point these are 50 round boxes uh i want to say these are xtp projectiles i'm not absolutely positive i'll have to go back and look when i do some testing i'll know for sure but uh these are actually reman so reloads here wisconsin cartridge corporation these are 50 round boxes like i say for 327 magnum these were only 35 bucks per box now yeah they are reman so you know you expect them to be a little cheaper but 50 rounds of 327 magnum for 35 uh, bucks even remans is a heck of a deal right now because it's just it's super expensive ammo and incredibly hard to find right now now just as a heads up if somebody's looking for some of these the day after i bought these things i noticed they upped the price on them to 45 bucks per box so i paid 35 per box for these three but now they're asking 45 uh and their shipping is also pretty high because they insist on adult signature required they add that extra fee uh but i can just tell you i wasn't here when these got delivered and the, the uh, fedex or ups whoever it was they just left them on my porch so um anyway if you're looking for some 327 federal magnum they do have them in stock but again they've upped the price to 45 bucks for a box of 50 and even that's not terrible right now if you're really needing some 327 magnum and then another online pickup i made was from freedom munitions it's their big grains big bore ammo and this is actually in 50 action express y'all probably figured i'd be needing some more of that so i got three boxes of this 20 rounds in a box this is just flat nose full metal jacket uh i paid 38 dollars per box for these so 20 round boxes 38 bucks per box uh, i know people saying good lord that's expensive and yes it is but that's for 50 action express you ain't really gonna find any cheaper that's pretty much the going rate and and was <laughs> close to that before the whole ammo thing started going so these are 325 grain like i say round nose flat point full metal jacket and that actually wraps it up for the week y'all so again not a whole lot that i picked up this week but it's definitely some things i was needing and a couple new things that i hadn't tried yet to test so i think it was a pretty good haul this week but y'all let me know what y'all think about the pickups this week as always leave me some comments down below let me know what the ammo is doing in y'all's area as far as pricing and availability and what kind of pickups you might have made for yourself this week again if you do enjoy the videos reach down and hit that thumbs up button hit that subscribe button and make sure you click that bell notification icon all that stuff really does help support the channel so i thank y'all a bunch for that check out all my affiliate links down below in the video description you know the deal with the amazon if you shop through there anyway hit that link up first you go straight through amazon like normal from there and anything you buy anywhere on the site i get a kickback from them towards the channel it's already starting to get hot and steamy outside so if you're looking for some really good ear pro that won't have your ears sweating like crazy and get swamp ear check out those actual affiliate links down there below those gs extreme earbuds are absolutely fantastic and you can save a pile of money on them if you go through those links instead of going straight through the website as always i appreciate all my range gang members for reaching out and hitting that join button and every single person out there that watches my videos hits the thumbs up hits the subscribe and leave me those comments down below again let me know what's happening with the ammo in y'all's area tons of good jelly videos and some new tool videos coming y'all's way so make sure you stay tuned for that and in the meantime stay safe stay prepared and i'll see you soon